Only players that play in New York State are eligible today. The comment originally wanted to include New Jersey as well, but there was some disagreement, so I'm just gonna go straight up New York. Buffalo, Rangers, Islanders, boom. I also saw a comment saying that if you're on a team and you randomize, you'll never get them. Not true. I've had it happen. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and randomize the team. Today we get Smashville. I really feel like we do just get the same teams over and over. Speaking of Nashville, I wonder if Johnny's uploaded another GM mode. I feel like it's been forever. But of course we want Fantasy Draft on. Fog of War, no thank you. Play Morale, nope. Head Coach. Jabroni? I'm gonna leave CPU trades on this time. Will we make any trades? Honestly, unlikely. But you never know. Alright, let's go here! We're getting pick number... Pick number 13. Yeah, that's the one. Unlucky number 13. No, we get pick number 4. Huh. This draft will not be difficult in terms of having to do research and stuff like that. Look up stuff about the players. But... We are very limited in our player pool. So in that sense, it is, in fact, difficult. Now the question is, do I start with the bread man, or do I start with Adam Fox? Normally, when I start with the fence man, it doesn't really work out too well. But if I recall, last time I did this, it did work out. Let's go, Fox. Okay. Clearly, I should have started off with Sorokin or Shesterkin. And I did not do that. I mean, he's technically still with the Rangers. Will he be there post-offseason? Who knows? But right now, he is playing in New York. Patrick Kane, or Hatrick Kane, if you will, is joining our squad. Is Zabinijad still going to be there? Yes, he is. Wow, that's tempting. Yeah, I gotta do it. He's got the X Factor. A few abilities sprinkled in there as well. Another sniper. We're going to have two snipers on the first line. Going to be a goal-scoring machine, especially with Adam Fox, offensive defenseman. Are you kidding me? So it looks like our starting goalie is going to be 86 overall, which isn't terrible. And then we could also take Halak wherever he is. Levi and Comrie are also options. Why not? Let's grab another center. Brock Nelson joining the squadron. There's our first line left wing, Chris Kreider. 86 overall, making 6.5. Not a big fan of that, but... I guess it kind of balances out the Patrick Kane one. He's near the top, so I am not waiting any longer. Semyon Varlamov, welcome to the team. I really do want to take Anders Lee, but 7 million. Last time he played so well, though. I'm, I'm going to do it. We'll just have to take some very budgeted players later. But you know what? I'm going to be a big spender up front. I will not lie to you right now. Slightly concerned about our defense situation. Mayfield, the second best defenseman, and he is right-handed, which I believe Fox is as well. Uh-oh. I suppose we're drafting all right-handed defensemen. Yoki Haru will also be joining our core. Thank you. Finally, a left-handed defender. Sebastian Ajo II. Coming to save the day. Definitely not a fan of the 4-7, but our options are running low. So Victor Olofsson will be joining our team. And we still have a lot of draft picks left. Oh dear. Halak is making 1.5. Comrie is making 1.8. And I'm assuming that Levi's already gone. Because of course he is. To be honest with you, I might as well go with Craig. 1.5 as well. And he's 83 overall. I'd be a fool not to. The goaltender situation is sorted. Defense, we're getting there. But you know what? $26 million is actually a lot more than I thought. I already know who the next pick is. Just go over to the physical category and sort. Where are you? Boom. Matt Martin, join the team immediately. At 750k, I just can't say no. Zachary, 19 mil left. Yeah, we can do it. Barkley Goudreau. All right, I've been avoiding it, but it is time to tackle this defensive issue. Here we go. Kale, not Makar, but, you know, it's only 24, 79 overall. Left, which is huge. And with that, we need only one more defenseman. I found our guy, Nico. He is six foot four, an absolute menu. He's got four star physicality, defensive defenseman. Oh, hmm. He also shoots left. He's 24. Not as big. He's also a defensive defenseman. He's making a little bit less. Oh no. What do I do? I'm gonna go with the original pick. Nico is joining your Stanley Cup winning Nashville Predators, who are 
coincidentally, all New York players. Actually, 12 million left, and we only got a couple picks after this one. I think Okpozo works perfectly. It's going to bring us closer to the cap. It's going to be a veteran presence. Let's do it. I could take Bailey, but then the next player is going to have to be making pretty much a league minimum. And another left winger as well. Ah, uh, you know what? Whatever. Let's go. Oh, wait. That was our last pick. All right. There you have it. Four of our first five picks were Rangers. A lot of Islanders. And you know what? There is some Sabres sprinkled in there as well. The legend Craig Anderson. Okay. Do we stand a chance? No, maybe, actually. You know what? Never mind. Yeah, we do. I think with this team, we have a pretty good combination of goal-scoring ability with size and grit, so they could get it done. It's about that time. Moment of truth. Let's edit the lines and see what our chemistry looks like. Just don't give me... Wow! That is way better than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, no. I already said no. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this in case... It gets blown out of proportion, but I will do preferred lines and see if anything updates. Okay, so it's still plus one, and I like Lee up there better. Okay, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this. No, I'm very happy with this. We've got a second line forward on the fourth line with two grinders. Maybe it'll work, though, or I could do that. Oh, but that brings that line's chemistry down pretty bad, so never mind. Hear me out. If I move Okpozo down for Bailey, we get double plus one, and it's only a one overall drop-off. Two-way forward with two power forwards instead of a full power forward line. I'm too scared to look at our defense, so I'm going to goalies first, saving defense for last. Certainly not the best for last. We got Varlamov and Craig. They could hold down the fort. You know what? They look solid. All right, let's do it. Even strength. Defense. Oh, no. It's all right. We'll make this work. Seb, you're coming down. Problem solved. Oh, never mind. What if I do that? Oh, definitely not problem solved. That? No. Yeah. I think we're kind of just in one here. Why does Adam Fox hate everything? It's not even like I have two defensive defensemen together here. But whatever. You know what? Let's run it. I'm fine with 0-1-1. Patrick Kane gets the most points with 85 we get 44 wins and make the loss. You heard it here first. On that note, let's get the sim started. I will go all the way up to the trade deadline. I also didn't realize, but apparently I simulated past two regular season games at some point. All right, come on lads, let's get it going here. We need some more wins. Let's go on a streak. Every time we win a couple games, we lose a couple. We just can't pull away. At least get overtime losses, you know? Get me one point out of it. A 9-2 win over the Montreal Canadiens. That is huge. But then we go and lose three games in a row. Make it four. Pierre Jacques has been canned. Maybe we should look at him. Our coach is an A-. minus. Is he a forward coach? He's a defenseman coach. Wow, that's shocking. This guy's also an A-, minus, and he is a generalist. He has a 61% fit. Am I able to see that with our current coach? I think I can, right? Carlos, you have... No, I can't. He's also a 61% fit. Yeah, he doesn't mesh well with Fox at all, which is weird because he's a defenseman base coach. But I guess maybe Fox... Has that offensive mindset, so maybe they hate each other. This looks no different. I don't think there's a point. Nah. I think we have to make some deadline moves if we want to stand a chance, but it might be too little too late for a push. We can certainly try. I'm going to set us to be a conservative buyer. And let's enter. This would be huge for us, actually. They want a first round pick in return. Might be able to pull that off. Obviously, we are over the cap with just a draft pick. Let's see what our draft pick is worth. It probably has high value. Yeah. Okay, there's the Preds pick and it's actually letting us just go through with it. So maybe I should? Let's try it, propose trade and boom! We upgraded our D. Sebastian, 80 overall, playing 20 minutes a night. I wonder if we could go after Wallstrom and try to add a sniper to that second line. We got a lot of draft picks to work with here. I'll try giving up a San Jose third, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see if it goes through. I feel like they're gonna be cheering in the streets. So you know what? Let me actually give you a fifth so you can turn me down and then we'll work from there. Proposed trade. Okay, too far off. Let me move up to a fourth then. All good. We'll go with the Tampa Bay fourth. Proposed trade. 
Just a touch, you say? Hmm. Well, I can give you a sixth. Yeah. Proposed trade? Nice. All right, let's go edit the line, see if we can turn this ship around. Maybe the trade deadline is the TSN turning point. Who knows? We are sixth in the division and we definitely need a lot of wins to gain ground here. Patrick Kane, 58 points. Oh man, this is going to be a tough one. They're trying to put Wallstrom on the fourth line? Yeah, absolutely not. So you're coming up here playing second line right wing. As a sniper, you get two power forwards at your disposal. We will move Okpozo to be here. Put you in the middle. That helps it out a little bit. Olafsson. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Fine. And let's check out the defense. So now we got a plus five on our top defensive pair, which is huge. I still can't seem to bounce this dash one. Whatever. At least we have a plus five now. The dash one can deal with it. 906 save percentage. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Craig. Oh no. This will have to be one incredible run. And we start off with an L to Chicago. Oh no. Okay. We were cooking for a minute there. We're winning. Kind of. Nice. Okay. Three game winning streak. The Sabres delete us. Another win. We bounce right back. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? We're definitely winning more than we're losing. But it's going to be close. Oh, come on. Come on. Keep it up. Overtime lock. Wait. Oh, we're wild carding. Yes. Oh, my word. Just give me GM of the year now. We finished the season 8-1-1. One, and one. I don't believe what I'm seeing. 94 points and 44 wins is good enough for third in the Central Division. The Dallas Stars, they have to have won the President's Trophy with 117. Are you kidding? Yeah. All right, the Dallas Stars have Kirby Doc playing with Forsberg and Cooch. They have Aiden Hill and Jakey O. As their goaltender, Strom, Comfer, Lekkinen. To me, it doesn't make any sense why they did so well. It was almost the top 16 teams, but the Washington Capitals managed to get in at 17. Now, I saw a comment saying to show the lines of all of the playoff teams, which will take a minute. But, you know what, if you guys want to see the lines, then I will happily show you David Krejci. So that makes a lot of sense. They have... Sebastian Aho as their second line center. Vinny Trocek as their third line center. What is going on? The Isles have Captain America with Brian Rust and Matthew Kachuk. Kachuk is a gamer. Detroit with Stone and Larkin playing with Connor Garland. All right, they have a pretty good team there. What about the Sabies? They got Hall, Horvat, and Pasta. That's huge. Byram and Pesci. Ooh, I like their team. Now I want to know if the Rangers made the lofts, because if they did, we got the Islanders and the Sabres here. That means that all three New York teams qualified, plus the Nashville Predators, who are entirely based on New York. They did not. Calgary Flames have Matthews, Pavel, and Kuzmenko. Okay, they got Levi. You stole Levi from us. You're done. I wonder if it would maybe just be worth showing the teams that we're going up against, as opposed to... Looking at every team, but I'll do this for now and then, oh yeah, this is our team. <laughs> if you would rather me show every team, like I said, I'll do it. But yeah, I think it would be more efficient to just show the teams we're going up against. The Winnipeg Jets have Marchand playing with Bergeron and Kyle Connor. What a first line. That's outrageous. Then they got Seth Jones and Rasmus Sandin. So happy he's a capital now. The Kenna Jens. Dreisaitl, Johnny Kudrow, and Gensel. That first line is also ridiculous. Barabanov, Tavares, DeBrusque. All right, cool. That Chatfield guy has been insane. Jimmy Superstar, they brought back Timo. Samsonov in net. The Jerks have Athanasiu as their first line left winger. Connor Brown, and then Nate Mack. What a weird team. The team that almost qualified for this draft. Very close. They have Vasilevsky. So there you go. That's enough. And last but certainly least, the Washington Capitals, ADB, Stamkos, and Mojo. Love that. Spencer Knight in net as well. Okay. The team that we beat 4-2 to in the last regular season game is our first round opponent. Let's him pass the first three games and see if we can keep that going here. Yes, we do. Nice. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Keep it going.
Bring out the brooms. Where are they? Where's the brooms? Next up, we have the Dallas Stars that finished 9-1-0. and oh, Fox also lighting it up at the moment. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, that's scary. We got this? I know I normally show the player stats after the season, but I kind of forgot. So, we'll get there after. As we do, first three games of round number two, we're sitting good. We are up 2-1. I'm just gonna sim two more games. Don't lose both of them. Okay? Okay. Can we delete them before seven? Really, Central Scout? Ooh. They have the President's Trophy curse. There's no way they beat us, right? Right, guys? I pressed the wrong button, first of all. I, like, paused it and then unpaused it. But also, first shot of the game? Can we not... Well, j Nice. Nice. We got it back a little bit. We're just down by two now. They scored the first three shots of the game. Craig Anderson has to be in the net now, right? Yes, he is. And he also gets destroyed. Well, it was a fun run. You know what? It is what it is at the end of the day. We're still not fully out, but it's not looking good whatsoever. No, we're done now. There's no shot we get four goals to bring this back. It was a good run, Nashville. We basically had them. And then they just deleted us. Like, deleted. That's disappointing, but I can't blame the lads. We had a horrible start. We weren't even doing that well at the trade deadline. And we managed to bring it all the way back to being a playoff team and almost taking out the President's Trophy winning Dallas Stars. So close. Season stats first. Almost point a game from Hattie Kane. 75 from Zabenejad. Let's go, Fox. 74 is huge. Kreider had 55, and Nelson, as a second liner, had 56. Wait, was he a second liner? Yeah, he was, right? Wallstrom only had 33 points, but maybe he had, like, none before our team? Yeah, he did good for us. 22 games played and 15 points. That's solid for second line. Barlamov shut the door after the deadline. He really brought it back. Great save percentage. Great record. Craig Anderson didn't have his best sim this time. Pelic only had 22 points, but he's a defensive defenseman, right? Yeah, so let's see how he did for us. Seven points in 22 games. That's really not that bad either. That's a point every three games. I guess normally that wouldn't be so good, but he's a defensive defenseman, and, you know, I guess probably letting Fox run away with it. So, Jakey O, back on the Dallas Stars, had a 916 and a 265, 48 wins. But Broski had a 921. That's nuts. Blackwood down there with a 923. Yeah, there we go, Foxy. Lead defenseman with 74 points. And then it drops off to a nice amount of points with Shea Theodore. Hamilton up there with 62. Matthews gets the Art Ross and the Rocket Richard by the looks of it. 64 tucks. 114 on the season. Kucherov, the only other player to break 100. That is a big drop off from first to third. Nuts. Pavel had 93 points, up to 90 overall. He definitely got carried by Matthews. Playoff stat-wise, let's go Adam. 10 points in 11 games. Kane was point a game. Kreider had 9, so he picked it up in the playoffs. You know what? I'm not really disappointed in this team. I think we did wonderful. That kind of hurts, though. An 889 for Varlamov. Can't win with that. Flower winning another Stanley Cup. He had a 915 save percentage. Ottinger had a 925 and a 924 for Kachekov. The fact that Fox is up here with 11 games played is incredible. I mean, McAvoy also, very solid. It would be Slavin, though, that leads defenseman with 19. Very good playoff from him. And your Conn Smythe winner, Johnny Goudreau. 31 points in 24 games played. Dreisaitl had 29. Okay, so I think we know who their first line was. Or maybe... Could have had Gensel up there. I think they did have Gensel up there. Oh yeah, that's right, because Tavares was their second line center, if I recall correctly. So I guess their first line was Gensel, Dreisaitl, and Goudreau, which, ew. I'm also not going to look past Brandon Hagel, 26 points in 23 games with a 24 shooting percentage. I'll show you the team awards real quick. Individually, we already know a fair amount of these, I feel like. The Art Ross, yep. The Hart, yep. Shea Theodore gets the Norris. I feel like... 
Our boy got snubbed. Kucherov gets the Lady Bing. Genther takes the Calder. Cool. All right, the Consmite goes to Goudreau, as I mentioned. Blackwood gets the Vesna and the Jennings. Okay. Boom! There we go. Clegg with the Bill Masterton. Things you love to see. That right there. Benoit gets the Jack Adams. I think our coach honestly deserves it. Giroux with the Selkie. And Matthews gets the Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. Just cleaning up. Well, you know what? I consider that a success. We were not off to a hot start. Came out of the gate cold. But made a couple moves at the deadline. And that fired the lads right up. Gave us a new lifeline. And we made it work. Stats show that 1,500% of you are not subscribed. So if you could, that would be sick. And on that note, I appreciate you. Any other draft video ideas, be sure to leave them down below. And I will see you soon.